Hi, welcome here in Teket in Barcelona. And I'm here with Orla Cullen. Welcome, it's a pleasure to have you over here. Thank you very much. You are taking care for product management, especially about advanced analytics and augment analytics within SAP. That's correct. And if we talk about analytics and talk about organizations, how to implement analytics, organizations are struggling with it often, especially simple reporting can already be a struggle, but especially if you go into data discovery, um, if you go more to advanced analytics and to predictive analytics, normally you have the analysts, you have the data scientists, you have specialists, data, data miners, uh, data engineers, it can be complex. And now what we see is all kinds of new developments about augmented analytics. And I think that's very exciting. And the reason why it's exciting is that it's really making things easy and democratizing analytics, I think, within the organization. But I would like to understand more from you. You're an expert yeah. from both sides. On one hand, you have experience as a an user, yeah. but also from the, the software vendor side. So I would like to have your view on what's important from strategy, what's important from direction and future vision if we look to augmented analytics. Great, yeah. So, um, I mean, very, very simply, we're focusing on analytics for humans. You know, so, you know, we know that artificial intelligence, machine learning, they're co core part of modern analytics. But traditionally, they've really been focused on data scientists, and it's been a domain that's largely been untouched by the end user. So really what we want to do is lower the adoption barrier and enable our users to actually get access to these technologies and use them as business users. Um, so SAP Analytics Cloud is our vehicle for doing that. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it a lot about how we're bringing BI, planning, and predictive together on the one platform. But actually, SAP Analytics Cloud at its very core and from its inception has really championed augmented analytics. So not only do we have a predictive component of the tool, but we're infusing artificial intelligence and machine learning directly into the BI processes and workflows. But if you look from an organization perspective, you have SIPs, you have marketing, you have operation, you have IT. Um, it's a challenge within the organization to have the right statistics, the right reports, the right predictions. So how does this work then? And you had quite some good ratings, I think, in the, in the recent, recent months since you launched it. What are specific items that people are very enthusiastic about it in different departments? Maybe you can refer to certain departments, how they use it. Sure. I mean, I suppose the first thing to mention is all about the kind of the user experience. So the first thing you want to do is really infuse these capabilities into the everyday business user. So, for example, if we talk about, you know, we're using things like artificial intelligence, natural language processing. So me as a user, I can ask a question of my data. Um, using natural language processing, I can bring back an answer to my end user that's in English. Mm -hmm. And one of the challenges that we see is often to go to use machine learning in these products, we have a data scientist and a business domain user that have to come together to actually use these capabilities. So by enabling the business user in almost every aspect of what they're doing, we make it very simple for them to do that. And it's very, very intuitive to the experience. So for example, as a user, I'm browsing through my analysis, I'm looking at my dashboard, and at various different points, I'm given like smart insights. So it's saying, okay, here's something quite interesting, and you can drill further into that. But also just very basic concepts, like every time I'm looking at a chart with a time dimension, I should be able to do a forecast. It's something very, very simple that as a user I should be able to do. But we know, as you mentioned, there are different types of users. So some users really just want to have that browsing ability, the anal analysis ability. But we also have users that potentially want to go deeper. So they want to actually really explore their data. So using you know, part of our product like Smart Discovery, they can start to focus on key metrics. So if I'm a, a planner, maybe I want to see my revenue. Where's my revenue going? And maybe using these machine learning technologies under the hood, it's bringing me back some information like, you know, what's influencing that information? Where are anomalies in my data? But also giving me the ability to interact with it. So simulation capabilities, what if analysis, and enabling our users to do that as well. But for example, simulation, if you are an end user, business user, how can you use it? What's the difference between, let's say, initially where data scientists use it or data analysts use it versus now the business user? So basically, these workflows that were created are quite automated. We are using machine learning algorithms, but we're first bringing it back to the end user in a way that they can understand it. So if we look at the simulation capabilities. We're picking out what we believe are the key drivers behind those metrics. And then those users can go and actually start to leverage them, change the values, and see what happens. So where they may have had 100 or 200 variables in a data set, we're bringing them right down to the you know, 10 or maybe 15 that are most important. So the, the work that a data scientist might have done for them, we're automating in the tool itself. And data scientists, they can focus on more, let's say, details, more new development of algorithms. Exactly. So we can look at the, the data scientists is freed up to start to look at more in-depth you know, business problems that they may have and really go into town on some of those, those techniques as well. 
and using some of the classic algorithms that we have, like classification, regression, time series, the data scientists can build these, and the results of those analysis can then be consumed in the BI workflows by the end user themselves. And if we look into the future, there's, yeah, from user experience, so many new possibilities. What can we expect? So quite a few things. I mean, we really want to focus on the, this automation, the experience that the user can have with machine learning and artificial intelligence. So continuing to build that as a core part of the product. So not a separate tool you go to when you want to get insights, but part of your everyday workflows. But we're hearing a lot from our customers here at TechEd this week that things like data security, data transfer, duplication, replication is really, really important to our customers. So a big pillar for us um, at the moment is that live connectivity. So our customers do like the agility of a cloud product that we can deliver innovations fast, but they do like to keep their data at source. They want to keep it in their on-premise systems or they want to keep it where they have it. So live connectivity is a huge topic for us at the moment and will continue to be into 2020. Yeah, and I think if I look at the feedback and hear about the feedback, people underestimate it, especially this change in usability, really democratizing the analytics. And I think it's, it's a great change and the right direction to go to. Absolutely, I totally agree. I mean, and this is what we're seeing. It's not just the, the data scientist or IT building you a dashboard. People want to be able to go in, ask their own questions, come up with their own details. Yes, we'll always have um, IT building structured dashboards for our month-end processing or, or you know, key metrics, but the ability to allow a business user or domain expert to explore their data, come up with new insights, I think is the direction that we're going. Ola, thanks a lot for sharing all your insights from both, let's say, your client perspective as your experience with, with SAP. And thank you here for watching from TechEd in Barcelona.